Welcome back to another episode of Under the Ruby Tree. I'm Kimberly. Titus. I'm Yu Hong. Xiao Hong. And today we'll be talking about meditation. So just a disclaimer, we're not going to be teaching you guys how to meditate because there are plenty of videos out there of people who are definitely more qualified and experienced than us. So we're just here to share about our own opinions and our own experiences in meditation. Okay. So what do you guys think meditation is all about? I think meditation is like kind of like training of the mind to be conscious and aware, be in the present, that kind of thing. Like a pause button. Well, it's more of like a, you pause, are pause. just living every day without knowing what you're actually doing. Okay. I am slightly confused. <laughs> you know, what, what do you mean by like living every day without knowing? As in, uh, I can give an example. So, I think my opinion on meditation is similar to hers. Okay. Whereby it's about training and but it's more towards the having control of your mind and like mm. be more aware of what is happening around you. So yeah. one very good example, right, that one of the venerable asked me before, mm. so what did you have for breakfast two weeks ago? Today. See like we can't remember. I know. Cause I read breakfast. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Yeah, but, but like but, 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 but the exact <laughs> example that was given was uh something like like you know uh, what's the colour of the underwear you wore yesterday. So you know these are question whereby we just take and Mm. do but we don't really pay much attention but i think what meditation to me is that uh, we are putting in more effort in a way to actually train our mind to actually uh, encompass more knowledge and like have more information we store, uh, stored mm. inside yep my underwear is still green <laughs> nice <laughs> too much info <laughs> so from my quite rather limited understanding meditation is a uh, habitual process of redirecting your thoughts to what is happening now, what is happening in the present moment. So usually we make the common mistake of worrying about what's going to happen in the future or regretting something that happened in the past. Mm. So I think meditation is all about bringing your mind to what's here and now, like the task that's in front of you, who's the person you're talking to, where are you, what are you eating, etc. Et so there's actually many forms of meditation where it's not just sitting because... I myself also got back pain. So sometimes I also cannot really sit for very long. So, so like lying meditation, there's standing meditation, there's walking meditation. Mm. And one, I meditated on the aeroplane once. That was fun. Huh? I was travelling yeah. overseas to visit my sister. Then as a plane, I was landing there, the plane was like, tick, 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 tick. Then, I, then I, by the time the, like, the movie, the screen thing mm. stopped, then I just closed my eyes meditate for a while. It was, it was quite interesting. So actually meditation doesn't have to be you stop and drop everything you're doing and you just sit there, like find one corner sit and meditate. It can be you're standing in the train, sitting in the bar, so you just even uh when you're eating you like don't use your phone, don't watch TV, you just focus on the food in front of you. So it's another kind of meditative state. It's just being aware of what you're doing now. I think the meditation that we are familiar with is like sitting down or whatever. It's just to yeah. help yeah, yeah, yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because technically yeah. that's the easiest route to take to reach the meditative state mm. where you are sitting down, you're not focusing your and en- you're not focusing your energy elsewhere. So technically that is the most common one that people are aware of mm. because it's the easiest way to reach the meditative yeah. state. Because if the if everyone talk about lying down meditation, the most common thing would be I mean just fall asleep. Mm. Yeah. Like Mr. Chia. Okay, so I have a question now. So mm. uh like from young like when I go and learn and practice meditation, right? Like the teachers or like the people that are around me are teaching me meditation always tell me like clear your clear your mind of the thoughts and everything. But the thing is your mind will always have thoughts, right? so how, how does this work? Right? Like, are you supposed to really clear your mind or, or what? Like, I always just imagine that like, my mind is a blank piece of paper. Because the mind is a, is, a, is a constantly moving thing. Like, monkey mind uh, is, the, is the common expression where it's always jumping from place to place. So I think it's like, or it confirm is, it's always, it's definitely natural for thoughts to arise, but I think part of the process is just pushing them away or letting them go. Or just like, okay, I'm thinking, but just... Just let, let it pass. Yeah, just let it, yeah. yeah. Ah. yeah. Like, I know, actually, when I was young, I wasn't really taught that. When I was young, I was taught, like, there are clouds that are passing. Oh, really? Yeah, so, like, you oh, see the cloud, yeah. and then the cloud will just pass by. So, if there's a thought, right, it's okay to hold onto that thought, but once you realise that you're, you're thinking about that same thing over and over again, you just pretend there's a cloud and it's passing by. I think there is another analogy provided by another a senior SBM member. Which senior? 
Uh, no longer youth. Oh, no longer youth. Yeah, but... Oh, let me say, uh, Mr. Kerwin. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Some ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Kerwin. Dr. Correct, Kerwin. Right. Uh, yeah. 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 So, so, like, when he shared about meditation to, like, a group of youth once, right, uh-huh. he mentioned something like, when you're meditating, and if you ever hear a bus, like, on a busy mm-hmm. road, like, what naturally occurs in your mind is that uh, you will hold on to the sound of the bus that's passing, and then you'll start forming images of the bus stop, the bus itself, and the passenger, the driver, and stuff like that. But later then you'll realise, right, actually the sound is no longer there, but your brain is still holding hold, on, hold to, on to the... Yes, correct. So it's like what she said, like the passing clouds. Yeah. So once you realise that you are ho- actually hooked on to this vehicle, then you, you are supposed to, like, uh, let it go and let it just float past like a cloud and don't cling on to it anymore. So I think that is what... Uh, you try to bring across in the meditation sharing that time. So actually, we'll we be talking about meditation, right? But any of you actually practice meditation? Like, show of hands. Recently, no. Last time, have. I would say semi for me. <laughs> <laughs> what a semi means? So semi is like... What's a, a week? No, it's, it's more like... A, it's like the state of mind practice, but I don't yeah. really like... Uh, settle like 10, 10, 10 minutes of every day to do meditation. But it's more yeah. like... A, when something happened, then I realized, then I try to work on it. So it's like emotions, you know. Like if someone really pissed me off on that day itself, then when I realize that I'm actually very angry or like very affected by it, then yeah. I will try to like meditate. Not cling on it and let it go. Okay, so I do meditate now. <laughs> As in I try to but I think it's tough for me now. Cause whenever I meditate, y'all know lah, whenever I meditate, let's say in SBM right, I will either fall asleep or like my mind is just too cluttered. Like, to be honest, I, I, it's a bit hard for me to like just let the thought pass. You shall not pass! Mm. I don't know, like, like my mind just tend to cling on stuff. And then like, even if I try to focus on breathing, right, then at the end of the day, I just catch myself falling asleep. So most of the time, right, if you see meditate at SBM, right, you just <laughs> nodding. I've seen it many times. Many, yeah, so? Many, many times. Maybe my cultivation is not strong enough. Uh. Um, okay, for me, I've always re- like I've always liked meditation. Like, like avid meditator. Oh. No, I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> but it's a habit that I've always been trying to cultivate. Because like, since young, I think like primary school when I had Sunday class, like, that's like the main takeaway. Like, I even wrote in like the year end like journal thing that... Oh, you love journal. Like, I love meditation. Yeah, then like my teacher, oh, really? told my, my teacher told my mom that I love meditation. Then my... Then like she... Mother, I'm she, proud of you. No, she <laughs> asked my mom. So she got meditated at home. My mom said, no, I never see her meditate before. <laughs> but as in, at least every week when I go for, for Sunday class, mm. I have that very peaceful moment. Uh, That's good. Yeah, yeah like I... I that's why I really appreciate it. It gives... Because I guess I like to have my own time. Like I like being alone. Mm. So when I meditate, it feels like I have this time on my own. I get to just... You're making... Be. You're getting the most peace out of it. So. Yeah. yeah. So we are all Buddhists, right? And then we talk about meditation. But can other people practice also? Like, can my Christian friend practice? Or like other religion friend? Yeah. Can, can they actually practice meditation? Yeah. Yeah. I don't actually think it's like not. meditation is something that is restricted to just Buddhism. Like yeah. it's, it's not exclusive. Yeah, like everything everyone can do it. Like it, it's not like a like a stem of this this a Buddhist practice. It's not like yeah. it's just if you all think that it helps you with your daily life, then I think you should do it. Like. So it's like it's yeah. there but then uh, whether you want to take it and do yeah. it is yeah. up to you. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just like there's a misconception that it's a Buddhist practice because a lot of Buddhists practice meditation. Yeah. But Meditation itself does not belong to any religion. The act itself is not categorized, but it's yeah. just, it's really just breathing in and out, sitting there, so the calming origin, your mind down. The origin is not really from like a uh, like Buddha teach you come let's meditate. No. I don't. Okay, I don't think. Okay, I I'm not <laughs> sure about this. Like maybe y'all can search and tell me in the comment section. But I don't think it is like created by Buddha per se. It's just that y- Buddha practiced it and then he managed to attain enlightenment. Yeah, that's why like Buddhists. A lot of Buddhists meditate. So it's something like a vehicle that uh, help him to practice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I guess that's, that's the, the vehicle. Yeah. Like, it's a more yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually, like, I realised that in recent years, right, meditation has become quite popular, even for, like, non-spiritual people. So, like, even if you... Non-spiritual people? As in, like, people who don't <laughs> have know. religions, yeah. or regardless uh, of... Uh, the, 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 the common... Eh? So regardless of race, language, language or religion. Oh, yes. Yes. So, 
and then like you know a lot of apps also coming out in meditation mm. yeah so i think it's a reason apps yeah oh, oh, sorry what your apps sorry yeah. 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 sorry hello super power hello hey, 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 hey. continue 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 yeah like guided like some of them have guided meditation mm. then it good. helps people to get into it because i think that there are a lot of medically proven benefits to meditation like for like earlier i did mention that it like when you're very stressed it helps to like calm yourself firstly and then you focus and it kind of clears your mind so that in turn if you practice for long enough it helps you physically also mm. like like be well and happy but then when I, I stopped doing it for a while because I, I just got busier and more tired but then now that i think back right the period of time that i was actively regularly meditating mm. I, I was more balanced I was more in control. Uh, in control of stuff that was happening around me. What does balance mean? Uh? Balance as in the sense that the, the the sense of calm to see, to be able to differentiate things you can control and things you cannot control. Mm. So things outside myself, I, I cannot ah. control. If, if someone is angry at me, I cannot tell that person to not be angry at mm. me because that's his own emotion. But the thing that I can control is how I react to it. So if the person is angry at me, it wouldn't be right if I'm just angry because it's, uh, li- it's right. literally fighting fire so it's like fire. you put in effort on things that you can control but yeah. whatever comes to you whereby you cannot control you just accept it accept it and just see what's the best thing I can do from mm-hmm. here that, w- that will have the least damage or the best possible oh. consequence mm-hmm. yeah. so basically yes meditation allows you to take control back in your life it's not just for Buddhists it's for anybody you can do it anytime any place and it's not something that's very difficult to do actually. You just need to be present and there's a lot of benefits to come to it. Lah. So and like what it's not just for Buddhists. Yeah. 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 If you all want to start practicing meditation, there's a lot of different platforms that you all can start exploring. Like you don't have to just do it blind. You can mm. go YouTube, search for videos. There are a lot of apps that guide you through also. So I think it's really something that's very accessible to us now. Yeah. Like it's a it's a it's a privilege that Older people that do, do, do not have yeah. back in the days. It's, yeah. it's good that you have someone to start with, to mm. guide you, but don't be restricted by it. Take yeah. some time to find out what works for you. Yeah. Yeah. So we have come to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. And let us know if you have any other topics that you want us to share or what do you think about meditation. See you next time. Next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Share. share. Hey! <laughs>